Today, we are going to witness an amazing transformation, a landscape transformation. So if you're new here, my name is Kim. Welcome, I am a landscape designer and consultant, own my own business in Central North Carolina, Zone 7B. And I have a business where I go out and I help homeowners love where they live by creating the landscape of their dreams. Be it low maintenance, high maintenance, want to have a space to work out in their yard or just a, a nice place to come home to. This couple, it started as one enhancement of their property, planting some plants, tidying things up and lining their driveway with some amazing trees all the way to the most beautiful pathway that leads to a patio and a fire pit overlooking a magnificent field. This was quite a snowball of a project and this couple, I love them so much. And so I wanted to show you their progress. I wanted to show you all about them and how we transformed their space into something that they love. A little bit about this, we went for an initial meeting, which is what I call the discovery meeting, where I ask a lot of questions, I understand their vision, what are their goals for the space that we're transforming? What do they utilize it for? What is their, you know, what is their end goal? And then I create a conceptual design based off of that so that they can see their vision you know, on paper or on the screen. And usually that allows people to to put a vision to what's in their head, or if they don't even know, that's where I come in. And so the, we, as I said, we went there with the goal to just take a look, enhance some areas that they just, you know, they had a lot of plants, didn't know what to do with it. But the main thing was lining the driveway, this beautiful drive in the country, they wanted to line with crepe myrtles to where when it grows up, it sort of creates that canopy. So that was the main goal. As I spent time with them, talked with them, you know, just hung out with them on their front porch, it became very apparent to me that their favorite space was in the backyard where they overlooked this gorgeous pasture. It became apparent to me that they love to get outside and spend nights by the fire, drinking a glass of wine, having conversations, and I knew that we had to transform this space. So today I want to take you through the entire transformation. I wanna take you on this journey. I want to introduce you to Barney and Tracy. They are the amazing homeowners and this is family land that's been in Tracy's family forever. And it is absolutely magnificent. So let's talk about the next phase of this project. So behind me is the million dollar view. This is what they see as they look out on their back porch, sit out on their back porch. They utilize this fire pit when they have families over and that sort of thing. And as we were working through the project of the landscape renovation, you know, I just kept looking at this fire pit and I kept thinking, you know, that is a perfect place for a really nice, 
beautiful paver, circular patio and fire pit. And so after I talked with them, showed them some pictures, did a little design, uh, they agreed. And so now we are getting ready to put in a walkway, a paver walkway that will start right here at the concrete stoop, go all the way out, and then sort of in a curved, curved way, it's going to go out to the fire pit area. And so it will be right here, walking out. I would be on the pathway right now. We are going to put a small retaining wall on the back side that will go under the patio so to make it level because as you can see it's going downhill so the goal is to make this a level fire pit and patio area and so that you know when you're sitting in your chair you're not at an angle so that is our next project this will be the before again a pathway that matches the the pavers that are going here which is a three piece three it's, i think a three piece pattern and it's gonna kind of be a curved walkway coming out to here, a little retaining wall on the backside, a patio that's going to be level, and then a fire pit. And, you know, that will give them the opportunity to really enjoy their outside area. And so I wanted to show you sort of a little bit of the behind the scenes, take some videos of the, um, the before, and then I'll bring you along on this project. Today is the beginning of phase two of an amazing project, a transformation out in the middle of the most gorgeous area. This property y'all have to see. Um, I want, I really, really want you to meet the people that live on this property. It's family land. And when the country music songs talk about God's country, I really think this is the absolute definition of God's country. the I, I don't ever want to go home. I keep telling them that they're going to look out and I'm going to be living in their backyard. It's that gorgeous. So we are putting in a patio and a fire pit and I want to bring you along. Something I forgot to mention, we are also doing a sidewalk from the back porch to the fire pit and uh, patio area. And so um, I also wanted to mention this couple. They are so cute. They have an Instagram channel and I think they're still doing YouTube crazily ever after and uh, they go on all these amazing adventures and document it and they go to restaurants and and talk about it and they're just so cute y'all are gonna love them um and they do something called front porch Friday so if we're lucky we're gonna go on the front porch with them on Friday I'm absolutely inviting myself to that um and bringing you guys along but We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know if they're both home. But anyway, I just wanted to mention we're also doing a sidewalk uh, to their um, patio and we're almost there. You ready? Let's do this. Here we are. Ooh, it looks like they're both home too. Yay. Look at this driveway. We just, we just lined this driveway with these crepe myrtles and here's the greeting committee. Hey, buddy. Watch out, Barkley. Hey, Barkley. Oh, my goodness. Look at this view. We have, we have Buddy in front of us. The greeting committee. Can I just park right here? Here is the view. Look at this, isn't it gorgeous? They were literally married right in front of this cross and Barney built the cross for the altar. And this is the site of our project today. Literally views for days. Isn't it gorgeous here? Here they come. He's excited. All right, this is the million dollar view, right Barney? That's right. 
It's going to be beautiful. Look who I found on the front porch on a Friday. <laughs> Good, morning. Good morning. Are y'all ready? We are ready. We yes. Are ready. Kim is back. Kim is back. <laughs> Good or bad thing, I don't know. <laughs> The Southern Daisy, y'all, will tell you what, this girl, she has transformed our landscape. Aww. We love you so much. We loved you before, but we love you Aww, even more now. I love y'all, too. But we're starting our new project today. Phase two. Phase, Phase two. two. In the backyard. Yes. We have not shown any of it because we're waiting to do it all again. That's right. But... Your designs, your ideas have just brought this place to life. Oh. And we come up the driveway so excited now every day. So we're excited. Thank to you. Get this is the end of day one. Looks like they got a lot done. They put the pipe in the middle for the fire pit. And it looks like the retaining wall is good. It is day two of our project, and we're going to see what they've gotten done. It's only 10, 1030, um, so probably not too terribly much. And uh, so let's go check out and see what they've done. Today is day five of our hardscape project at Tracy and Barney's, and I am headed over to see how things are looking. We finished the um, the wall. The top cap, I believe, is done. They started on the patio uh, fire pit area, and then they'll do the sidewalk. So um, we'll go see how it looks. I'm going to show you. I can't wait. I think it is so beautiful. Forkley, you going with me? So we're headed to Barney and Tracy's this morning. I'm actually getting ready to pull in the driveway. Um, the project had a couple of setbacks, so we are almost finished. I think we've got maybe going to finish up today if the rain goes away or tomorrow for sure. So I'm going to check the stone for the fire pit. That's the last bit and to install the lights and just going to look. So I'm gonna bring you along with me and give you a little bit of an update, which is a huge update. It is spectacular. So brace yourselves, it is gorgeous. Today I'm gonna to take you on the very last day of our project that we started three weeks ago. Should have finished long before now, but we've had a lot of delays. And I want to show you an update before. And so today is the very last day they're working on the fire pit and the low voltage lighting, getting everything hooked up, tidied up, and they should be finished. So let's go take a look. It is drastically different. This is a patio retaining wall, or not a retaining wall, a sitting wall, and a walkway, a fire pit, low voltage lighting, and I cannot wait to see what it looks like. So let's go take a look together.
this is my kind of Friday night, y'all. Came outside, my husband's already built the fire, our new patio. You know what? How are you spending your Friday night? Cheers, Cheers baby. What did you think? Did you love that transformation and were they not the cutest things ever? I just loved them so much and it was so much fun. There were so many things that I didn't capture on video and so I hope you got the essence of just just how amazing it is to interact with people and see their vision come to life and a vision they didn't even know they had that I sort of threw out there was like, hey, I really think we need to look at this. This is not, you know, you utilize this space a lot. So I think we should kind of think about this. And that got the wheels turning and got the wheels turning. And then the, one thing led to another and there we have the installation and you can see it. So this last picture I am leaving you with is of their first night out on the patio and how they utilized it best and I just, it made me tear up a little bit because, you know, I feel like when you create spaces that allow people to, to, to love where they live, or you can help be a piece or a part of allowing people to love where they live, that's huge. That just fills me full of so much happiness. So anyway, I want to thank you so much for watching. I want to thank you for coming along on this transformation. I also want to offer my services. If you are looking for a space that you want to transform, it doesn't matter where you live. I have Zoom. I have FaceTime. We can get on Teams if we need to. I can do this virtually. We can have all the meetings that we need to have and I can help you. If you don't know how to do something, if you just want to know how to prune something or you want to think through laying out plants, book a consultation with me. You can go to my website and check out all the services I offer. Stay tuned though, because I am adding a whole nother level to my business. I want to thank you so much for watching. You can check out my website at thesoutherndaisy.com, pretty easy. And I hope you have a chance to go out, get your hands dirty, Look around your landscape and have a fantastic day. Take care. all my worries I prepare for something new whatever it was that held me back I'm sure it wasn't true holding on too long and unresolved questions holds you down what could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on